Welcome back. I'm Yichan Mo now the news in detail. Diplomats based in Yangon and abroad, resident representatives and officials of UN agencies, representatives of ASEAN member nations, world wishers of donor countries, and responsible personnel from international organizations flew to the cyclone ravaged regions in ARV division by helicopters in three crews on 23rd May and inspected around the damages by the storm and reconstruction and rehabilitation works being carried out. Firstly, the excursion group one looked around damages by the cyclone and reconstruction works being carried out in Piabong Township. They then arrived at Chavon Bridge where they observed mobile clinics leading to the cyclone hit villages and reconstruction activities of the town. They also reached the queries which were answered by Minister for Hotels and Tourism, Major General Sona and officials. They later went on to Seazoji Library where officials explained to them about the performance of rescue and rehabilitation works in the township by local people and social organizations together with UN agencies and INGOs. Next, Minister for Hotels and Tourism, Major General Sona, explained matters relating to loss and damages, casualties of people and animals, reconstruction of the damaged buildings, delivery of relief aid to the victims, providing healthcare services to the victims by mobile medical teams, participation of private companies in reconstruction activities, and implementation of rehabilitation works by laying down short-term and long-term plans. The minister then answered the queries raised by the members of discussion group. Later, the excursion group arrived at number one relief camp in Tabon, where they observed providing healthcare services, medical store, and providing relief aids. Then they inquired about what they want to know, and officials explained to them. Afterwards, the group observed renovation of number five basic education primary school and number one basic education high school by private companies in a motorcade. Next, the group flew to Sasan village of Bogali and observed damages of the town and relief work from helicopter. Then they went to relief camp of Jongda village in DDA township. Later, officials explained relief camp and damages caused by the cyclone and answered queries raised by the group. Next, the group observed a solar part generator, fuel part generator, providing healthcare services, water purifier, drink, dining hall, and kitchen room in the relief camp, and then they arrived back in Yango. Similarly, the excursion group two left Yangon for Bogale on 23rd May. As the command of relief camp, Minister for Forestry Brigadier General Dayan explained about devastation caused by the storm and relief, reset event and rehabilitation works being carried out in Bogale Township. He then answered the queries raised by the members of excursion group. They later viewed strong victims and a medication at the Bogale Township People's Hospital. 
They also viewed around the town by cars. On their way to Molamyanjong, they made an aerial view of what hit Sambo and Jahong villages. At Molamyanjong Township, the Italian Lieutenant Governor Tun Tung explained about loss of lives and properties caused by the storm, relief, resettlement, and rehabilitation works being carried out. Minister for Progress of Border Areas and National Research and Development Affairs Khan Lingyo replied to the queries raised by the members of the excursion team. After inspiration in Molam Yanjo, they arrived back in Yangon by helicopters in the afternoon. Likewise, Excursion Group 3 left Yangon for Mya in Iyabri Division on the same day. They visited relief camps number 1, 2, 17, and 4 in Nyaomya Township, where they observed accommodation of victims from Lepota, distribution of relief aids, healthcare services, and the victims cooking their meals and raised queries. From there, they proceeded to Lapota by helicopters. At Bayana Avenue, Garnet Jolinton of Southwest Command clarified on devastation caused by the cyclone in Lapota Township, rescue works and arrangements for rehabilitation works, and answered the queries raised by members of the excursion team. They later observed medical services being provided to the strong victims at the Lepota People's Hospital. After that, they arrived at the relief camp opened at the Yerna Deepa Sports Grounds and looked into the victim families being accommodated in tents healthcare services, and availability of safe water. Then they made an area view of the strong refit, Tepangongji, Limbo, and Jahong villages, and arrived back in Yango in the afternoon. International relief supplies for the strong hit areas are continuously arriving at the Yango International Airport. On Friday, IL-76 aircraft carrying tarpaulins, tents, and accessories weighing 38 tents donated by IFRC arrived at Yango International Airport at 8.30 a.m. 747 aircraft carrying 100,000 U.S. dollars worth school construction materials weighing 52.4 tents donated by Care Group of Brunei Darussalam at 9.25 a.m. IL-76 aircraft carrying 40 tons of biscuit donated by Pakistan Islamic Republic at 10.45 a.m. Medicines, blankets, kitchenware, bed sheets, tarpaulins, water bottles, and bathroom accessories weighing over 33 tons donated by Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of France at 11.05 a.m. Three C-130 aircraft carrying mosquito nets, nylon rope, eggs, rice, blankets, plywood, purified drinking water bottles and gloves weighing over 35 tons donated by the government and people of the Kingdom of Thailand at 12.40 p.m., 1 p.m. and 1.55 p.m. Two C-130 aircraft carrying tarpaulins and water bottles weighing over 23 tons donated by the United States of America at 2.55 p.m. and 3.15 p.m. respectively. Similarly, TG-303 carrying two tons of consumer goods donated by Red Cross Society of Republic of Korea, TG-303 carrying over two tons of consumer goods donated by Red Cross Society of Switzerland, MI-512 carrying 0.08 ton of medicines donated by Singapore Myanmar Christian Association, FG-3770 aircraft carrying 0.434 ton of Medicine donated by people from Malaysia, DC-8 aircraft carrying over 18 tons of kitchen waste donated by Indonesia at 8.55 p.m., IL-76 aircraft carrying medicines, food, tarpaulins, 
win over 34 chains to lead at my Red Cross Society of France at 10.25 p.m. respectively on 22nd May. Relief aids to needed by well wishes of foreign countries are continuously arriving by aircrafts and vessels. These relief supplies are systematically accepted at the airports and jetties by relief supply acceptance committees and these are immediately distributed to the swamp hit areas by helicopters, cars and vessels. So much for now, we'll bring more still this.